It all started with a big bang. And after the big bang, all the energy created merged into one point. The zero point. A powerful orb that has the power to transport limitless realities, but it was vulnerable. So it created the loop, a protective layer that can protect the zero point, or so we thought. And if you enter the loop, you won't be able to talk or remember or leave. And there's a storm in the loop that resets every 22 minutes. A meteor crashes into the island that contains a futuristic pod, inside it was the visitor, a member of the seven, and you guessed it, there are seven members. Then he builds a rocket and disappears to a rift which is a portal powered by the zero point and that rift causes a desert biome to rift in but as soon as we thought that's it, this happened a purple cube came out of the rift before it closed then the cube started rolling around the map, creating its corrupted symbols before making its way to Loot Lake. Turns out the cube's name is Kevin the Cube and we all thought it melted in lake which the lake uh, purple and bouncy. Then it made a comeback. The loot island started floating because of the cube's power. Then the floating island started going to each corrupted symbol powering them up. Then after the island exploded, it started spawning cube monsters. Then the cube overloaded while trying to open a portal to something and exploded and the explosion killed everyone but right before anyone could die we got teleported to the in between run and butterfly was waiting for us until the explosion ended before teleporting us right back to the island and because of the explosion a huge piece of the ice monk crashed into the island containing a fortress and the ice king who is one of the element The Ice King imprisoned a dangerous elemental, the Fire King, who wants to destroy everything. The Ice King imprisoned him by freezing him but he still managed to escape and created a volcano for himself as a lair. It made the volcano erupt for revenge, destroying tilted towers. But the rift butterfly took us again to the in-between realm where it was revealed that it's the zero point's hiding place after creating the loop and storm. The volcano also hit polar peak or the ice fort revealing a huge eye in the cliff that later broke free and started swimming around the island. And while that happened, the Ice King froze the Fire King underwater forever. And so the volcano went extinct or dormant, so the IO took it who are another faction controlling the in-between and the zero point, and made the volcano a facility to build a mecha to defend the island from the monster. But someone had to pilot the mech, so the IO took one of the prisoners, the Paradigm, who is another member of the Seven.
Sahara Daim escaped from the IO after the fight, hoping that the other seven members find her and save her. But her survival and the island's fate came at a cost. She had to absorb some of the zero points energy, which made the zero point unstable and glitchy. And the reason the monster attacked would get its hands on the zero point, which would make it extremely powerful. Time and space were chaos after the paradigm used the zero point and rifts were taking place every second now. And the seven, devout protectors of the zero point and reality itself had to do something. Cause reality was glitching, even the meteor that brought the visitor got drifted and stuck in time before hitting dusty v -port. scientist another member of the seven came up with a plan to save the world and the fabrics of reality it was a huge risk the seven were willing to take and the reality depended on their success Thanks for watching guys and please make sure to subscribe because I made half of this video in school.